as you make progress in your audio editing career, some of your projects will require you to work extremely fast. That is why in this tutorial, I'm going to show you 20 keyboard shortcuts that I use that you can use to make your audio editing a lot faster. And if you stay with me to the end of the tutorial, I'm going to give you a sneak peek into the next tutorial. All right, so let's get down to business. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to import an audio file that we are going to use to explain this shortcut. Okay, so now instead of going to file and then coming to import audio, I'll just go ahead and control shift I. Control plus shift and I. All right, that's it. So you go ahead and then you import your audio file. But I think for those who are not using Windows, I think it's command, command, shift, I. So when I'm saying control, if you're not using Windows, you just go with command and that works fine. All right. So now we have our audio file. Shortcut number two, we want to highlight the entire clip. So rather than just coming and struggling to see how we can highlight the whole clip, you just press control A. Control A, highlight the entire clip. Or you just come down to this, uh, the left of this, I mean, on, on highlight, that just come down to the left and click any of this space around here. I like the entire track. Or you go control A. That's shortcut number two. Now, shortcut number three, we want to copy a part of the clip. So we have highlighted a part of the clip now and we want to copy. You could just come here now and click on copy or you just go control C, keyboard shortcut control C. We've copied or we've copied the selected portion. You have to first of all, I like the parts that you need and then you go control C to copy. Um, before we go to the next shortcut, um, we want to zoom out. Let's say I'm not sure what I've copied. I want to be sure that I'm in the right place. I want to zoom, no, sorry, zoom in. I want to zoom in. Now I'm going to use control one. That's the keyboard shortcut. Control one is going to zoom and it's going to zoom. Zoom in to see what I'm doing properly. And then I'm okay. I want to zoom out. I go control three, control three. That's um, shortcut number five. We zoom out with controls three. Now, shortcut number six, what I've copied, I want to paste it somewhere. Okay, let's say this is the point where I want to paste it. Rather than coming here and then, you know, traveling with the cursor to this um, paste icon here, you just go control V. Control V will paste. That's pasted it. Control V will paste what we have copied. All right, so you use control C to copy and then control V to paste. Control one to zoom in, control three to zoom out. Okay, so that's shortcut number six. Shortcut number seven, we want to cut. So this part that I selected, I want to get rid of it. Rather than traveling down to this scissors tool here, I will just go control X. Control X will cut. Or we can use control K to delete. Control K, control X will cut or control K will delete. Both of them are actually the same control. You can use any of them that you remember. Now, we have um, done something here now and we feel like we've made a mistake. We want to undo what we have done. There is a keyboard shortcut to undo your previous action. And that's um, control Z. So once you press control Z on your keyboard, it will undo the previous action that you have taken. Uh, shortcut number 10, we, have, we want to apply an effect. Okay, let's say we are applying an effect. Let's come and amplify. We amplify by one decibel. Enter. I'm going to show you the next shortcut now. Okay, we're applying an effect now. Yes, the shortcut number 10 is control arrow. Control arrow is to repeat an effect. We just did an effect. We applied an effect, which is the amplifier on it. We want to repeat it. Rather than going up to amplify, we just go control arrow we highlight the clip and then we go control arrow to repeat the effect the previous effect um, now the next shortcut is to record now we want to record this instrumental track we want to record you just press arrow on your keyboard arrow starts recording so we are recording now uh, let's say you want to pause the recording you are not stopping you just want to pause you use P to pause P I've pressed P on the keyboard, it stops recording. 
And then I want to resume. I want to continue recording. I'm not stopping the recording. I want to continue recording. You press P again. It continues the recording. But then you want to stop your recording. You can stop. And come here to stop. Or you hit the space bar to stop recording. That brings me. That brings me to the next control, which is the space bar. You use the space bar to play or stop. So uh, you come down to the beginning. Press space bar and start recording. It's playing. Use space bar or the space button to play and to stop your playback. Then control D is to duplicate. So we have a portion. Okay, now we have a portion of the clip right here and we want to use it. Let's say we want to apply effect on this track and we don't want that effect to apply to this particular portion. We want to take it to a new track. You just select the track that you need and control D. Duplicate means it sends it to a new separate track on its own. So that's shortcut number 14. Yes, I mixed one. During the play, you, you use the space bar button to play, but then you want to play in a loop. Let's say we have selected a particular portion. We selected this portion. Um, let me select a portion. I've selected this portion and I want this portion to play in a loop. Rather than just pressing the space bar, I'm going to use shift and space bar and space bar. Pause. Pause. You use play only that Pause. selected portion Pause. in a loop you use the press space to stop the playback. So that's um, shortcut number 15. Shortcut number 16, we want to trim. This part I've already highlighted. I want to trim it. So I will just go control T to trim. Every other thing before it, outside it is deleted, is gone. We don't need it. Control T to trim. And then now, if you look at the clip, the clip is longer than the screen. There are some parts of it. Rather than scrolling, scrolling, scrolling inside, let's say we want to see the entire screen, the entire clip, we just go Control F. Control F will zoom in to the width of your screen, the Audacity screen. Control F will zoom it in to the exact um, width of the screen. And then Control shift f we zoom in to the height. There are other tracks here that are not visible. We'll have to scroll up, scroll up and scroll down. See some tracks. We can't see them all at once. We want to see all the track at a glance. We'll go shift, um, shift, control f. All the tracks are now visible. We, we zoom in to the height. Control f to fit to the width and shift control f to fit to the height. Shortcut number 19. We want to cut. Let's say we want to split this track here. Rather than coming here and then coming to cut here, we just put the cursor where we want to split and then we go control I. Control I has splitted the track. So to be sure that the track has actually split, we come to this shortcut number 19. We want to cut. Let's say we want to split this track here. Rather than coming here and then coming to cut here, we just put the cursor where we want to split and then we go control I. Control I has splitted the track. So to be sure that the track has actually split, we come to this time shift tool here and then we drag this part of it. You see, we splitted the track. Then we want to join this track back together. Of course, this space is still going to remain, but we want to link these two tracks as one so that when we are moving the track around, it moves as one track. We just highlight the track time shift to here and then we drag this part of it you see we split the track then we want to join this track back together of course this space is still going to remain but we want to link these two tracks as one so that when we are moving the track around it moves as one track we just highlight the track and then you use control j control j you see this thin line now connecting this first part and the second part we've joined this track so that if we take this time shift to now and we drag it here it's going to drag the whole clip. We've joined this clip together. That's it. 20 keyboard shortcuts that you can use to make your edit a lot faster. Now, initially, it's going to be a little cumbersome, but as you use them with time, you get used to it and you are going to get so used to these shortcuts, you know them like the back of your hand and it's going to make your edit a lot faster. Now, I promise you that if you stay with me to the end of this tutorial, I'm going to give you a sneak peek into the next tutorial. Now, for the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the right volume for your audio while you edit in Audacity so that when you export, the volume is not too loud or it's not too low. It's just the right volume for your project.
that's it guys if you enjoyed the tutorial please smash the like button so that youtube knows that the video is good and can show it to more people and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so so that youtube notifies you whenever i upload new video content and i'll see you in the next one cheers